So this is Justin Ox of Beast of Burden. We're at a job from last year where we hack and squirt these black locusts with a 50-50 solution to Roundup and Water. A forester from Northeast Iowa is one of the state foresters. I forget his name. I'll try to credit him in the show notes. But um, he told us the best way to handle um, black locusts with hack and squirt was when the flowers dropped in late May to late June. And that's the perfect time. That's when they're really vulnerable. And the main reason we're hack and squirting black locusts at that specific time of the year is to stop the root sucker in action. So let's walk through here and see what we got going on. That one also looks like we hack and squirt that mulberry. It's 50 50 uh, results there. Very forby in here. I'm not quite sure how to handle all this bed straw, but maybe that's, uh, that's okay. Wow, it is night and day difference because these guys are not leafing out all day or deader than a doorknob. I am so happy. <laughs> My forester will be happy. Now let's check out this big boy over here. It's been raining. I'm getting soaked, but I don't care. I wonder if there's a prescribed fire method for this bed straw. Oh, look at this guy. So these bigger ones that were too much for the hatchet because yeah, I'm not sure you ever messed with uh, black locusts with the hatchet, but the, the bigger they get, the harder they are to cut through. So we use a drill bit. And it was like every, let's see, I think we did a half inch drill bit and every, it looks like every couple inches or so. And we angled it and we just squirted the roundup and water in there on an angle to keep it pulled in there. And this guy's totally dead. There's one branch still alive. I'm gonna call that a success though. Now, a lot of guys might go, hey, black locusts are great for uh, firewood and, um, Fence posts and corner posts, absolutely. I'd say kill it in the summer, come back and cut it down if you like. <laughs> you know, you can use tort on, on the stumps, but you're gonna really diminish your early successional regrowth unless that's your goal. So far I found a couple root suckers. Is at times I've cut black locusts. I've cut them, treated the stumps with uh, diesel and triclopyr. This whole area be covered in young black locusts. Found two so far. We're gonna just take a few minutes here and walk through here. I'll look for any other invasives. This is night day difference. This stuff was not near as tall. Now last year we were in a drought, but um, it's just, look at that canopy. Wow, and there we left all the good stuff. Because there's really not, it was pretty much predominantly black locusts in here. And just a few cherries and oaks and hackberry. We had some honeysuckle in here, some white mulberry. But trying to be careful walking these dead limbs and stuff. But um, I was pretty low on the invasive side, which is great. This is just a three acre stand we were hired to do. And we're actually gonna come in here and do a tree planting either this fall or this uh, or next spring. And it's got you tubed. So that's always fun. Now let's see. Now, as you can see, the roundup did not affect this black cherry because you can see it's growing right next to these two younger black locusts. But pretty much their day only leaves, you can see some black cherry. So that's really good to know that the roundup's not gonna leach over. I don't know if we hacked these Osage orange. They're all dead. So I'm not quite sure if we, I hacked those or not. I don't remember hacking them. It's very possible. I don't see any hack marks, so they might have died of their own accord. Found our third little black locust sucker. Got some honeysuckle. We're gonna try using Escort in here this time around, uh, just to make sure we don't develop any chemical resistance. And that was pretty good. Um, this one's totally done. And part of it could have been didn't get the foliar across the entire plant all the way, but like this one over here, totally dead. This guy, halfway dead. Hard to say why, but I think the Escort will. This one died and then it re-sprouted, but I think the Escort or MSM-60 is another one that's off-brand of Escort you could use. And the thing I'm really excited about, so I got six acres to do at my farm, and uh, I'm at two years ahead of schedule, but they're spreading to my cleared cedar trees, which really need to do a video on that. And, um, yeah, that's six acres. I like to kill it before it spreads out and takes the rest of my stuff over. But really, there's not a lot of invasives in here right now. I did see some garlic mustard, but they're already done. 
Here's a couple. Oh, look at this. That guy's totally done. That's good, the honeysuckle right there. We had some other bigger ones over here. That one re-sprouted. Not bad. Not bad at all. <clears throat> I'm kind of curious because I know we hacked some white mulberry. Let's walk through here. We got some multiflow rose killed, pasture guard. Got some, I don't think that's honeysuckle. Some more honeysuckle. I think we tried hacking a, I want to find, there was one I hacked with the Roundup, the bigger ones, and I'm curious if it worked. I gotta find it first. This junk here. I have been using my nicer camera because it's been very sporadic in filming, so. Let's see if I can find that big boy. Ah, oh, it did work. Holy crap. Oh, or is that the Osage? Guys, I uh, I will, I take that back. That wasn't it, that's Osage. I did not hack that one. Another uh, a dead Multiflaros, the pasture guard. I'm trying to find this sucker because it'd be a really handy technique to hack and squirt larger um, honeysuckle and white malt mulberry with Roundup, you're just passing by them. No hack mark, oh, here it is. There's a hack mark right there. There's actually two. So most of it did work. Just the limbs didn't quite go all the way through. So very possible we need to do one each side. And I think that I would have worked. That's, that's something to keep in mind in the future, eh? You can kill this with a hack and squirt possibly. Um, instead of having to cut them down with the chainsaw. But I'd probably add a little bit of a triclopyr or the Craig Harper cocktail mix be the way to go as well. This one also got hacked. And really, there's just a little bit of regrowth. This tree's on, this honeysuckle's on the way out. So that's very effective to know, guys, that this is round up in 50-50. Very, very effective. This guy got sprayed. He's done. Isn't that amazing? This guy got, you know, hammered. And the smaller ones didn't want to give it up. Isn't that something? I don't, I don't understand how that works. Because pasture guard is very specific in their label. Hose it or spray the plant until there's liquid dripping off the plant. So there you have it. Let's walk through here. A lot of bed straw in here. This is all black walnut. Didn't even touch it. Now, I'm going to show you the night and day difference. So this little ditch over here is the, the uh, project line. And this gentleman did, you know, I consider it smart. He did um five or he did three acres out of five acres he owns just to see the difference and you know this is night and day difference you can see where we sprayed at and look over here this is just an infestation honeysuckle so and that one is gonna need a little bit more work if he decides to sign up for equip or csp or whatever let's continue down here because we sprayed some multiflower rows there's some few more black locusts we should address and uh We'll end the video. Hope you don't mind the tour. And I, I do realize how I record and walk. It can be very nauseating. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm terribly sorry. Um, but it's kind of hard to... I'm not used to looking through my phone. See, I'm not the typical millennial that lives through his cell phone. <laughs> so I'm trying to watch where I'm going in real life. And also make sure you guys have a decent video to watch here. So... Oh, there's another dead honeysuckle from the year prior. This is all done in, I think the first week of June, right? A couple, week or two before my son was born, around that time. So you can see down here, a lot of kills from the pasture guard, which is just beautiful. See, look at the difference, guys. See how the honeysuckle matches open real estate now. And I use that term a lot and Habitat management, called open real estate, because that's all forb cover, that's all brooding cover that you now have. That's awesome. Okay, so again, got some more hacked black locusts, and none of the trees affected by it, the trees are affected by it, by the roundup, which is very, triclip here has been proven not to leave the root system either. That's just branches from the shingle oak. 
But no, we missed, looks like we missed a pa uh, honeysuckle. You're gonna miss them. But I'm happy with what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a lot of dead stuff. I gotta do a second follow-up, which this is like a afternoon project when it's not raining. Let's see, let's look at this double one here. Oh yeah, he's done. Those twins are done. So that's very effective. And now we kind of went overboard. I didn't have to hack that much, but these trees are so much bigger. I just made like a girdle mark around the whole entire thing. So, and it looks like the, we got the fence cleaned up a multi-flower rows. That is not something, look at the difference in here versus the neighbor side where they have more black locust. It's more shaded and you have way more light over here. And we've made room for more valuable trees to grow. So I've seen three root suckers, maybe four this entire time, which I consider that a really great success. So the multiflower rose bushes are pretty much disintegrated because this is all full multiflower rose down here and they're pretty much gone. So I was just, I really want to try and buy that white mulberry. I want to see if that was effective or not, but that was huge for me. Um, so that tells me if I come across a nice thick hackberry, I'm sorry, honeysuckle that we can give it hell in the summertime. Looks like this guy re-sprouted. You can tell I got sprayed. And I just don't understand is I know I soaked those things and maybe I didn't. It's just kind of frustrating. It's like, why don't you, why won't you die? Especially a baby honeysuckle like that, so. Well guys, that's it for now. Hope this you found this helpful if you're dealing with black locusts. They're just a, I call them a colonizer. And their native range, they're considered a pioneering species outside their native range, which their native range is normally the Appalachia and the Ozarks. Um, they spread very aggressively. And yes, you can use Tordon, but you will damage the early successional habitat around you. So I'd say kill it in the uh, summertime, like we, I suggested, or it's been suggested by the foresters. And if you want to harvest it, great, drop them for firewood. You're going to be burning. I sure as hell would be dropping them and letting them either burn on the ground or go harvest them because those things go on fire. It's going to be a lot of fun. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you found this helpful.